not read. This is the first time like my bed's been made and I've not been in it. So, Alexa, shut up. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Of the day. Hello everyone and welcome back. I am alive finally. Well, as you can tell, I don't. I'm not fully alive, but I'm out of bed and that is an improvement. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll realise I have been in bed for over a week now. Um, but basically, this has been staring at me, like staring at me for a week straight while I've been in bed, like too ill to even open it. I can't even remember what's in it, but I have... Oh, I just knocked myself out. Oh, I have a massive... ASOS haul and it's all sale stuff so oh I should probably not have shown my address so I'm gonna open it all now and I'll go try it on please let's see what I ordered so first thing I ordered was a pair of joggers let's get them out but I can't be bothered they're UK 8 and they're just called Influence Stripe Jogger Quad in Dusty Pink um, actually, I'm gonna get them out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get them out. Mm. Feel a bit like Primark joggers. Oh no, they're that that material on the inside. I wanted some nice fluffy joggers. That is so disappointing. But um, yeah, I'll try them on. Right. So these joggers, I'll just show you them first, right? I think they look good. Like, I quite like the colour. They look good. They're nice and fitted, like, it's locked down, so I live in joggers. I've got a drawstring as well, so I can tighten them. But it's the material, like, because they're tight here on the bottom, like, it's that itchy material. Like, they feel like I'm wearing cardboard. And I don't, about, don't know about you, but I don't want to wear cardboard. So, these were no from me. But just because of the material, like they do look good. Ooh, next up, oh, I'm super excited for this. We have got, it's actually, I saw it first. I saw it first, cropped cardigan in blue. This is in size eight. I will link everything below. Um, I didn't do that last time, I was just too lazy. But I will do that this time. Oh. It's not very cropped, but I'm excited for this. So I do really like this top. Well, it's a cardi, but I wanted it as like a top. It's really comfy. The sleeves are a little long, which I love because I love to like tuck my hands in. I just left a couple of buttons undone. One thing I see is the buttons are like really delicate. So like these buttons and these holes, like the holes are tiny. So they're really hard to do and undo. I feel like at any time these buttons could pop off, but I do really like it. What have I got next? Actually, what I forgot to tell you is I didn't actually pick all of these. That's why I don't know what some of these is. I didn't have enough stuff for a haul. So my boyfriend also picked out some stuff for me to try. So like some of it isn't stuff I would normally wear, but I let my boyfriend pick some of them. So this next one is actually something that my boyfriend picked me. It is... AX Paris and it is a racer neck bodysuit in blue. It's a bit of a weird material. You can't you know what it feels like it, it's a, not a nice material but it's like it feels classy. So I feel like that'd be really good for a night out. Right. So I am back in my normal top and that is because I tried to get this on, this bodysuit. And there's absolutely no giving this for me to step into. And then it's like I can't step into it. So I undid these, like the poppers on the bottom. Try to go in that way. And then my shoulders couldn't get past this. So that was disappointing because I got that in 
an eight. And normally I've got a bodysuit in a six, so they fit a bit tighter, but apparently not. Next up. Oh, this is something my boyfriend picked. I wasn't I wasn't too keen on these, but I told him I'd try them anyways. Um so these are mint green daisy street relaxed runner shorts with yang heart embroidery so you know always good to try something new like it is my favorite color so i understand why he picked it like this is my favorite color but we'll see what they look like on <laughs> well we're gonna give it a go i'm gonna give it a go don't knock it till you tried it. Right, I can't lie. My boyfriend has done good with these. I, they're not something I would pick, but they're not as massive as they looked on the photo. And they're like, they'd be so good for sitting around the house. Because for some reason, I went through a phase where all my shorts had to show off my bum. So like, I don't have any shorts. That I, can, like, so I live with many lads now. I don't have shorts that I can just sit around the house in because my bum's always out. So... As much as these are not something I would never pick and they're not like a style icon, I do like these. So the boy done good there. He done good. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm so, so like ill. It's not COVID though. That's a perk. Oh, I got some jeans. These are in the style Jack Josser. Jack Josser. I don't know how you say her name. Crop denim jean in washed blue. Oh, I didn't realise it was cropped. I can't even bother to open this. I'm just going to try these on. I can't even bother to open Right. Well, I think this says it all. These are meant to be like mum jeans, or at least they were in the model. And pff, I can't even bend my legs. Look at them. I can't move them then. And I can't even fasten them like... Let me breathe. Big no. Am I, is anything, was any of this worth it? <sighs> oh my God, Marianne, you got so much stuff. Mm -hmm. This is in the style slogan cropped sweatshirt in black. It says limited edition. Feels like I do wear a lot of crop jumpers. My boyfriend picked this one out. I do wear a lot of crop jumpers. So I'm going to try that on and see what that is. So this is the crop jumper. I would honestly prefer it if it was like cropped to like there and then wear like a sports bra or something underneath. But it's a very basic jumper. However, it is really fluffy on the inside. Absolutely love that. It's really comfy, very lockdowny wear. So yeah, very basic, but I do love it. So this was a good pick from Adam. This, oh, this is something else my boyfriend picked. Like, I'm pulling faces like it's not really bad it's just like it's something i'd wear on a night out when i've like tanned and everything um it's just a bit, a bit dressy for lockdown to be honest it's just this like a little cowl neck top that's sort of backless the straps just like cross over and it's just them straps it's cute but it's a bit dressy for lockdown but we're gonna try that on right so i've had to put this back on because i went to try this on this strappy top um and i can't get it over my shoulders like this bit here that is as far as it stretches so i don't know, i would say you'd have to size up but like i'm in tops i'm normally a six and i got an eight and everything apart from that oversized one so like you're probably gonna have to size up like two sizes if you want to get into this <sighs> i'm tired are you tired this is the longest i've been out of bed in like eight days yeah next we have an oversized t-shirt i feel like i'm shrinking drinking drinking ASOS design oversized t-shirt with long sleeve in. I actually got this in 10. I know I said everything's in 8. I got this in a 10 because it's an oversized t-shirt and I want it to wear as a dress. 
So I did buy it in a 10. So hopefully it's going to be massive bed. Oh. I don't think this is going to be worn as a dress. Look at how square it is. Oh well, that photo was very misleading. Right, well, I've had to put shorts on, just some denim shorts that I already had because that is the length of it, so it cannot be worn as a dress. But I do really like the style of this top. I think it's really cute, quite cool. Would have looked so much better if it was long enough to be a dress, but I do love it. And I probably should have just got it in a size eight since I can't wear it as a dress anyways. So I'm already... Oh, I got another oversized t-shirt, but this one's just to wear as an oversized t-shirt. So I got it in a size eight and it's Daisy Street oversized raglan t-shirt with vintage Miami beach print. I can't remember to get this out. I'll just try it on. But... So this one is a very basic top. I do like it, but <sighs> it's like I'd wear it on holiday or like in the summer and I can't be bothered to get ready. But I don't think it was worth the money. Like, you can get a top like this from Primark for two quid. So, I don't think it's worth getting it off ASOS. Oh, I forgot about these. These look massive. In the style, Lorna looks lullaby, ribbed, wide leg, trouser, cord in stone. These are like knitted wide leg trousers for like lounge. I can't get into them. I got into them. Oh, I'm excited. These are just, ooh. Oh, they seem really short. They're not really short. Right, I'm so sad about these as well. These trousers are like, would be so cute. I mean, they're so long. Like that's me pointing my toe and they're still like a foot too long for me. Like, they would be so cute but i've tied these right and if i don't tie them like if they're just back to where like see this isn't fastened they just fall down like look at the room i have in them like great pregnancy trousers but i should have got like two sizes smaller oh well another disappointing item what's this the all dolls collection more if plunge bodysuit in black I literally don't remember what I ordered. I... Oh, I remember this. This is very unlike me, but it's just like a zip bodysuit. It's... I'm just gonna try it on. I don't know why I'm showing you all these because you don't know what something's like until you try it on. Right, so when I say I love this, I am not joking. Like obviously, it sort of flattens my boobs a bit. And I probably wouldn't wear it here. I would either unzip it to there, or if you want a bit more boob, a bit more boob, you can zip it there or even lower, but I'm not going any lower because this is going on YouTube. I don't want to see my boobs. It gives me like race vibes, you know what I mean? Like them flag girls are like, whoo, before race starts. What am I talking about? But yeah, I love this. This is amazing. And I've been looking for some leather joggers Oh, ages i mean so these are i saw it first pu jogger in black and if these fit these are probably going to be like my most, most worn pair of clothing i hate that sound when you <laughs> oh they look amazing i am so excited for those the one annoying thing is the drawstring is not actually a drawstring it's just last piece of clothing and wow i've been wanting some and i found some they are quite like they're not big but i don't know whether they do they make me look fat i don't know probably to tie these because currently they're dangling like i don't know whether they make me look fat but i feel cool like oh, i love these i do i'm really happy with these and they feel so nice Amazing. Oh, this is the first time I've ever done this actually. I have bought shoes online. Shoes. Basically, I am very late to the trend of thigh high and over the knee boots. I've never had any. So, I've never had any. And I found some in the sale for, I think they were like £10. That's a bit dramatic. 
But to be fair, I did use a discount code as well, so it's always really cheap. So... What the fuck? I don't know what they are. I'm sort of having regrets. I got a thin heel and I just don't like in thin heels, but we move. Oh, look at that. It's not got a string or anything though, so... Hopefully it stays up. My thighs aren't. My, 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 I've got massive thighs, of course it's gonna stay up. You know why I want them? I'm just gonna tell you here. So, I want to be able to go out in a dress and not have to shave and tan my full legs. That is a dream come true. So my theory with these is, I can wear a dress and all I've got to do is tan my thighs. So these, oh my God, I'm on carpet so I could not walk in them and like, I don't think I could walk in them if I went out. I think I'm gonna have to get some chunky heel ones. But uh, ignore my thighs because I've not got anything on. But look at these. Oh my god, I feel like fucking Kylie Jenner or something. Like I would say though, obviously I said I was a five or a six, and I got these in a six, but because of the pointed toe, my god, they're tight on my toes. So I might would I maybe would even have to go up to a seven, like. But oh, I love these so much, but they might have to go back because they are really hurting my feet and I've worn them for about two minutes. But if you're wanting some thigh high boots for the price I paid for these beauties, get them, honestly. Right, so everything is behind me, but that is my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked everything. I will link everything down below. Um, I might write a little comment saying like whether it was too big, just in case you're wondering what size to get and I'll put what size I got. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the subscribers on YouTube and all the views on my videos. And thank you for all the followers on Instagram as well. Like I've been trying to hit a thousand followers on Instagram for probably like two years and finally done it so thank you so much um but if you don't follow me on instagram i will link it below so that you can follow and yeah thank you so much for watching i love you all thanks for putting up with this my like ugh, my voice and everything so yeah thanks bye <laughs>